hello guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to tie a ruffles gilly boy it's called um beverly gilly style because i think beverly also um wore this type of gilly hair drop so come with me let's tie this together the measurement that we are taking for this gilly is 60 40 and we are making nine pleats place at the back of your head bring forward and cross Arrange your pleats properly and ensure that your V is at the center. Then you go ahead to cross. Can you see what I'm doing? When you cross, you take a pleat and pin down. You repeat the same thing on the other flap. Now, Shabi, you see the longer flap and the shorter flap so watch carefully and see how we are going to make or achieve this style so a backstory i think i've taught this in my private class you get bored when i went for a job they were like i should tie beverly style i was like ah I thought I'm going to leave the video on the screen. I thought it was one that I've already done before now that has four leaf like shape you get. But they were like, no, it's not that one. And they brought the style. I was like, oh, okay. And I tied it. So just watch and see how I achieved it. My own style could be different from what you already know. Um, so keep an open mind and watch the video till the end. Now, after we are done pinning to the base, you see the way I took it from the middle. You're going to take big pleats, like you're going to fold it, fold it. You see it, then that edge, you're going to turn it and pin at the back. After you fold it, you take that edge, you turn it and pin at the back as seen. Now, we could or i could have said that you can achieve this on um sego but it's not going to be possible why because sego has back and front so this one that we turned now obviously is going to be the back of the gilly you understand and if it's sego now that side is going to be a different color from this other one so if you want to achieve how to you want to learn how to achieve this on sego i already have a gilly style or a gilly tutorial for that one so keep watching now we've pinned at the back we are going to start making our ruffles can you see i hope i'm not boring with my talk too much talk sharp now we make our ruffles and pin where necessary but ensure that our purpose of doing this thing is to ensure that that pointed side is on top so that we'll achieve those three points that you saw earlier you get so um if you don't know how to do a ruffles gilly i already have so many tutorials on how to achieve this so go on my channel and check for yourself now we are going to pin to secure then take that part and pin to the base it's going to be very stable like pin to that high place that you're seeing there to the base of the gilly to that place that you um turned and pinned at the back yeah pin to that place then you go ahead to the other side and do your ruffles again when we are done making the ruffles we'll pin where necessary then join both together so keep watching you're going to see how i'm going to achieve this in whatever you're doing just ensure that that pointed side like the edge of that flap is going to face up so no matter how you make your ruffles just keep 
that side in mind that is going to be up you get now can you see when we are done pinning we are going to take this other end as seen and pin to the base also like pin to that place that you pinned the first one inside out so that it's going to be secure then you join both together now we go over to the other flap and repeat the same thing but this time around we are not going to do everything ruffles you see where i cut out that side is going to be at the back then we are going to make do with this um other one for our ruffles you get that little part that i removed that i do not use in making the ruffles you're going to see how i'm going to do it at the back so keep watching guys if you've watched up to this extent please do not forget to like comment subscribe and share my videos to others and if you like this gilly please let me know in the comment section now can you see our gilly is coming together ensure that your ruffles are pro properly made everything is stable and okay and sturdy then you pin when you're done pinning you're still going to join this one to the other one you pin together you get just exactly the way i'm doing and everything is going to come out nice now we got ahead to the back i just where necessary do everything that we are supposed to do and cover properly can you see what i'm doing now you're not going to drag you're just going to arrange everything properly and pin that free part that we removed before now we are going to pin it to the two ruffles that we've done earlier this is going to make it to be very stable so that no matter how your client dances it's not going to remove when you're done with that you pin the back to the other part also inside out this is not going to fall like if the person wants to do backflip safe it's not going to fall you get so this is our gaily thank you so much guys for watching do not forget to subscribe guys like comment and share i hope you like this gaily style i'll see you in my next one um there's another style that is okay that i think you could like but it's not ruffles it's kind of like in a fun manner um if you want me to do that let me know also so that i will drop a video on that thank you guys bye